dear first semester uh, triple e stream students welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well you are watching motion learning for team i am providing a passing package for you students and also important lectures in our media so today i am with the the passing package of your subject applied physics subject code is uh, bphye 102r202 so probably uh, you are in the first semester right now if you are the new batch students so this video is for you so make sure you will not skip it i will discuss the super important questions or i can say the passing package uh, for your examination you can easily pass the physics subject by this much portion so first of all let us discuss here module wise uh, from module first you have uh, what is a wave function setup time independent schrodinger wave equation for a quantum free electron sorry free particle in one dimension and mention the same in three dimensions this is a super important question most of the times uh, we keep asking this question respect of the schemes from 2018 scheme this question is repetitive okay so you should not leave it next we have explain de broglie hypothesis arrive at the expression for de broglie wavelength or you can say de broglie right so this is the name no need to worry about the pronunciation it is de broglie sometimes de broglie hypothesis uh, next we have here the numerical calculate the energy in first two energy states for an electron in one dimensional infinite potential well of with 1 nanometer next we have starting from schrodinger time independent wave equation obtain the expressions of eigen uh, values and a normalized eigen wave function for a particle in one dimensional infinite potential well you can also say this is a super super important question as far as your exam perspective next we have again another important question that is your heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is state and explain heisenberg's uncertainty principle using the same through the non existence of electron inside the nucleus right so next we have next we have here the numerical again an electron and a photon each have same de broglie wavelength of 10 angstrom find the kinetic energy of electron and energy of photon so let me tell you one thing over here uh, it is possible to pass the physics subject only by theoretical portion but if you want to score also you can go through the numerical part which are very simpler ones also i have uh, solved some numericals you can go through my playlist where you will find these answers of these numericals over there next similarly we have here a particle of mass 0.5 mega electron volt has kinetic energy 100 electron volt right so find its de broglie wavelength where c is the velocity of light uh, you are seeing here 0.5 mega electron volt divided by c c is nothing but velocity of light next we have explain probability density and normalization give the physical significance of a wave function and next uh, you can see also here the numerical again in a measurement that involved an inherent uh, sorry inherent uncertainty of 0.003% the speed of an electron was found to be 800 meter per second calculate the corresponding uncertainty involved in determining its position so these are all uh, important questions uh, from your module first some numericals which you have to practice so only this much portion is enough to cover module first next we have module second explain polarization of dielectric discuss the mechanism of different types of polarization and describe the type 1 and type 2 superconductors and uh, here we have another numerical that is find the temperature at which there is 1% probability that a state with a high energy 0. Point, sorry uh, this is your 0.5 electron volt this is not 5 just rub it so 5 is not here this is simply with an energy 0.5 electron volt so next we have mentioned any two assumption of quantum free electron theory this is super important question discuss the probability of occupation of various energy states by electron on temperature on the basis of fermi factor and explain the construction and working of maglev vehicles uh, define superconductivity and critical temperature explain briefly squared and mention it mention its any three applications next seventh question we have mentioned the expression for internal field for one dimensional array of atoms in case of solid dielectrics and derive the clausius mosetti equation uh, evaluate the probability of an electron occupying an energy level 0.02 electron volt above the fermi level at 400 k again it is a four it is not four over here okay just just mistake so above the fermi level at 400 kelvin outline briefly the solid and liquid dielectrics with the one example this is all about model second now we have here model third 
obtain an expression for energy density of radiation under thermal equilibrium condition in terms of Einstein coefficient. Again, it is super important question. Next, we have what is attenuation. Discuss uh, different types of attenuation in optical fiber. And the ratio of population of upper to lower energy level which is 1.059 into 1030. Find the wavelength by spontaneous emission at 300 Kelvin. Define numerical aperture. Obtain an expression for numerical aperture uh, in an optical fiber. Okay. So, uh, describe the principle, construction and working of carbon dioxide laser with energy level diagram. Mention any four characteristics of laser and explain three types of interaction of radiation with matter. And with a neat labeled block diagram, explain the application of optical fibers in point to point communication. Last question we have here discuss the application of laser in laser range finder in defense. And let me tell you one thing over here if you want to cover only three modules, so then definitely you should go through fully. You have to cover all the numerical portions and uh, the important questions, whatever I have mentioned in this video. Okay, if you are going through three modules fully, it is possible to pass the subject. So, provided with the condition you are good in the numerical portion, then definitely you can go through three modules fully and take in two two questions from other two modules. Okay, so it depends upon your preparation. But my suggestion to you people just to go through all the modules uh, by taking uh, these important questions, you can easily score in uh, physics subject over there. Next, we have module four discuss about continuity equation, derive the expression for displacement current. And explain Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Ampere's law and explain, uh, sorry, express same in the point form. And derive wave equation for electromagnetic waves in vacuum in terms of electric field using Maxwell's equation. And what are vector of data? And explain the concept of divergence, gradient, and curl. Next, we have write Maxwell's equation in vacuum. Derive equation of electromagnetic waves using Maxwell's equation in free space. And state and derive Gauss divergence theorem mention Stokes theorem in mathematical form. And uh, last we have state and explain Gauss law in magnetism, Ampere circuit law, and Biot Savert's law. So last we have here model fifth, in which you have to cover discuss the law of mass action, establish relationship between Fermi energy and energy gap for an intrinsic semiconductor, and define Hall voltage and Hall field. Obtain expression for Hall voltage in terms of Hall coefficient. This may be six marks question. And derive an expression for electric uh, conductivity in extrinsic and intrinsic semiconductor. And explain the construction and working of photo transistor and also mention its two applications. And describe the construction and working of semiconductor laser diode. And explain four probe method to determine the resistivity of semiconductor. So these are all important questions of your all modules. So if you are covering this much, you can easily score more than 80 marks. I'm giving you a surety by covering this much, you will get 80 marks. Okay, so it depends now upon your preparation, how you are preparing, how you are tackling the numerical portion of the physics subject, then only you can score much more. So this is all about today's video. I hope this uh, video will definitely help you. These questions will definitely help you in your examinations and my best wishes are with you. So try to practice numericals as much as possible. Just of the theory you can easily uh, do. Uh, you can easily do the job, right? So thank you for watching my video.